Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams, and I'm going to get you some help um, filling out this Excel template that I provided you for your Monte Carlo simulation. We're going to begin by generating our random numbers over here in columns L, M, and N, and then we're going to move them back over to the left side of the <coughs> spreadsheet where we can use them for our simulation. So you were given information on the distribution of each variable. Demand and material cost are both normally distributed and our production rate per fabricator is uniformly distributed. So I'm going to start with demand and I know that my know that I'm going to run a hundred simulations which means my demand random variables are going to be in cells L11 through L110. I'm going to come up to data, go to data analysis. I'm going to select random number generation and I'm only doing one variable that's demand and I need a hundred random numbers and I need it to be normally distributed and you were given that the mean was 140, that our standard deviation was 15.62. I asked you to use a random seed of 1. And now I want the output range to be in L11. I'm going to say colon L110. And those are hard cell references. So we've got to make sure that we've got dollar sign L, dollar sign 11, colon, dollar sign L, dollar sign 110. Because I don't want those to move. So everything is where it should be. And I'm going to hit OK. And it has populated my 100 random variables for demand. So now I need to bring those over into the actual simulation. So I'm going to put my cursor over here in demand and I want this rounded, right? Demand, we can't demand 0.78 flags. So I want that rounded to a whole number. So I'm going to type in equals R O U N D for round. And I'm going to put in my number is going to be L11, comma, and I want it rounded to a whole number, so it's going to be 0. So round the value in L11 and round it off. And I hit Enter. And you'll see that it just rounds it from 92.78 up to 93. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag it down till I get to the bottom and let go. And no, so now it's rounded all of my demand figures in my random number area to my demand um, here where I need it. And I'll center those. All right. So now I'm going to do production rate per fabricator. So I've got my cursor in M11. I'm coming back to data. Going to need data analysis random number generation and I'm going to hit OK. So I still have only one variable. I still want a hundred replications but you were told that the production rate is uniformly distributed which is going to be the range between 32 and 42. I still want a random seed of 1 except now my output range is going to be in column M. So all you need to add to this is colon M110. Okay, so I'm going to have it output in rows 11 through 110. Close this and then say OK. So here are my random numbers for my production rate per fabricator. So again, I'm going to bring that over to my um, production rate per fabricator. You can't produce 0.01 flags. So we're going to say equals round. And then the number is going to be 
that number in M11, comma, again, I want it rounded off, so I hit 0, and I hit Enter. And now I can just take this, and I just drag it all the way down to 110. And I'll center that again, just because it's easier to see. So I'm going to center those values. So last but not least is material cost. So material cost, you were told, was normally distributed. I'm back to data, data analysis, random number generation, <clears throat> one variable, 100 um, random numbers. The distribution is normal. And for material cost, we had a mean of 13 and we had a standard devi deviation of 1.40. So I want my output range, and I want that to be here in N11, and I'm going to say colon N110. I'm going to say, <clears throat> if all that looks good, I'm going to say OK, and there's my material cost. Because material cost is a dollar value, we're going to round to, do, to two decimal places. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to say equal, R-O-U-N-D again, and I want it to round my material cost, except now I want it to round to two decimal places. So I put in two, hit enter, and it rounds it. So now I'm going to take this, I'm going to drag that all the way down to 110. I'm going to do two more things with this. I'm going to again center it and you'll notice up here it says that you are that the format of the data in that column is general right? and so I still have all my cells selected and I want to turn it to accounting because material cost is a dollar value so that's how you get your demand production rate per fabricator and material cost values um, generated in this Monte Carlo simulation. You will not use these random numbers over here to the right again. We generated them and then rounded them to plug them into our simulation so they just need to just sit there and you just leave them alone. So when you get to flag simulation two, when you run the second simulation, you're going to go through the exact same steps, except that I believe that your mean standard deviation um, for demand and production, I mean demand and material cost has changed, as has the production rate per fabricator. The only other thing I tell you is make sure that up here that you enter the selling price, your overhead costs, and your fabricator's wages over here in your input parameters because you're going to need to refer to those when you build your profit formula. So I hope this helps and if you still need help let me know and I can do a follow-up video.